Hi all and welcome. Just a quick one today because um, I found a really cool little bag from Aldi's and it was I think six pounds. But anyway, let me show you why this is a cool little bag. Now, um, I have a drone and I've been keeping it in this in my camera bag. So my camera's had nowhere to live. When, so I've been sort of transplanting them backwards and forwards because this is all I had. Now, I know that you can get, you know, specific um, DJI bags and, and drone bags, but they're sort of 30, 40, 50 quid, whatever they are. This was six, remember. So here, look, from the camera bag, I've got all my drone and my equipment and spare bits and bobs and things. So that's all sits in my camera bag. Now, what I'm gonna do, let me just put this down here for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this as the drone bag, right? So the controller fits into this front pocket really nicely and the drone itself sits into the main compartment here. So what we've got is a really nice compact little bag and it is a nice shoulder bag as well. So, um, <clears throat> but obviously there's no particular protection there. So what I'm going to do now, some old bits of stuff that I've got. So I've got some old Dodo stuff here, a um, bit of this left over. I've got some various bits of foam of different thicknesses from the, from the mattress topper and bits and bobs. So I've got a fair little bit of foam there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out just a, um, a safety sponge here for the drone to sit in when I'm transporting it. So essentially what we've got is this, and that's gonna be a nice, easy, cheap and effective way to carry my drone around, I think. This particular bit shouldn't take very long at all. All I'm gonna do is just cut the foam to the size that I want, and then I'm just gonna draw a basic outline. It doesn't have to be 100% here, it just has to be close. There we go. And now I'm just sort of gonna scoop that out. Now you may be wondering why, after spending what is not an inconsequential sum of money on a on a drone um, which is true I mean it's not you know they're not cheap things now the reason for that is pretty simple is that um, I don't need a particularly you know expensive drone bag that's all logoed up and everything else I don't particularly need that um, this will do this will do perfectly adequately and that's fine by me so it's it's not a case of um, you know, penny pinching for no good reason. It's not a case of um, not being able to afford it. It's just a case of, well, I don't really need it. So the drone itself is the thing that, 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 that's, that's, that was worth spending the money on and the value on. The bag that it goes in is, as, as long as it's safe, it's okay, isn't it? So far, so good. So the drone itself now fits in there really sort of nicely. So now I'm gonna do a sandwich piece, like a top piece, which is gonna be a bit thinner and that's just gonna sit on the top. So it's gonna create this all round um, safety sponge, if you will. So I'm cutting this in the same way that I was shown how to cut an avocado. So I cut around the outside and now I'm scoring lines down and through so that when I now push it, or at least this is the hope, there we go. So when I now push it from the bottom up, it presents this cube that's much easier to cut away. While I'm cutting this out, I sort of wanted to talk about this as well, because I'm new to drones, right? I only brought the drone uh, a few days ago. I haven't really had any time to sort of test it properly or do anything great with it. And <clears throat> It's interesting the reactions that it gets because I put a post up for a wonderful place called Coco's. Coco's, if you're watching, uh, thank you for your response. And there's a, that's a basically campsite up in Wales and it's meant to be incredibly picturesque and scenic. And I was thinking about going. <coughs> so I thought, I've got the drone, I've got the van, got the weather, head to Coco's. So I messaged there, uh, I, put a, I put a post on their, on their site basically just asking, can you fly drones at Coco's? Now, the, uh, somebody from the site themselves, I think it was a guy called Stephen, very politely answered me and said, yes, as long as it's done respectfully and tactfully and you're not interfering, which I thought was a pretty measured, reasonable and great response. 
But then there were like 120 odd comments, most of them saying things like, oh, we hate drones, we don't like drones, we don't want to be spied on and all the rest of it. And I thought, isn't that interesting that it creates such an emotive response? But then what else was really interesting was that the very first time that I had this, I took it out for a very quick test. So when I say a test, I mean literally in an open field, middle of nowhere, up, down, left, right, a little bit of a circle, nothing more than that. I mean, I'm too scared to take it above sort of 20, 30 foot. But what was interesting was my wife and her reaction to it. She didn't like it at all. She had this kind of subconscious reaction that um, she didn't like it. And, and I felt a little bit of that as well. And it was quite, quite strange. So I don't know whether that's some kind of prehistoric mind thing um, like giant bugs and all that kind of stuff, I don't know, but there was this strange reaction towards it. And I'm wondering if maybe that's what that is, because there is strong feelings uh, both for and against, isn't there? I mean, there's an awful lot of people that are very, very, very much against drones uh, in principle. So it's interesting because I think they're fantastic little tools. And the reason that I sort of got one was because I'd seen lots and lots of YouTube channels with phenomenal drone footage. And it just looked really, really, really good. So I thought, hey, do you know what? I quite fancy the idea of that. So here we are, and this is why I have one. But isn't it interesting that so many people really dislike drones? And uh, I, I'd be interested in your views and thoughts on this because so far it's been mostly quite negative towards them, but I haven't really spoken to the drone user community. So obviously I'm pretty sure they feel differently. So obviously I've, um, I've done the test, I've got my IDs, I've got insurance and everything else. So I've done all of that. And so I understand, and of course, the, uh, the, the DJI Mini 3 Pro is an under 250, which means that obviously the, um, the legalities mean that I can do a lot more with it. However, uh, number one, I don't want to be getting into arguments with people over what I can and can't do and what they perceive I can and can't do because I can't be bothered with that these days. And also, I don't actually just want to offend anybody. You know, I don't want to set anyone off and, and I don't want to ruin their weekend away because, hey, I, I'm, I'm aware of the value of being in nature and being away from the world. And um, not only am I aware of the, of the value of that, but I guard that value. So I totally get it. But it's just an interesting observation, isn't it? Because, um, again, the, the, the thing is with the drone is that it doesn't take very long and it's up way high, higher than than where it's going to be an annoyance to somebody. Um, a lot of it, I think, is, again, the privacy of it all. But, I mean, when you look at us as a country and you look at the sheer amount of CCTV cameras and phone cameras, and I mean, are we ever truly now not being filmed? That's the question, isn't it? So anyway, I'd be interested in all your thoughts on this. So while I was sort of pondering along, I've now cut out my... Uh, my shape for the top half of this that I hope is going to fit okay. So now we're just going to pop this in. Pop the top on. And there we are, drone sandwich. Now the idea now is to see whether or not it fits into this nice snazzy bag of mine. All right, so trim down more. So now we're going to pop the drone in. Pop the lid on. It seems to be relatively secure in there, that helps. So now the question is, will this fit in the bag? And the answer is yes. It actually fits in the bag really, really well. And it creates that, it's, it's got a nice little cushion there, just as that extra little bit of safety, which is kind of what I was asking. Excellent part of this is just literally gonna cut some of this dodo matting, and that's just gonna sit at the front of this just to protect that screen that little bit, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It really helps. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can grow this channel a little bit and have some fun with it and document travels and things, but I can only really do that with your help. Okay, so this now fits nicely. And as I'm sure you guys already know, this dodo matting has a sticky back to it so we can actually stick the whole thing to this bag uh, to the top part of this bag and that way then it's not going to go anywhere so I think that's what I'm going to do 
So that's stuck in there now quite nicely. As you can see here, look. So that's all stuck in there. <coughs> so now, when the controller goes in, we have some nice protection here around the controller itself and also some nice padding around here and the whole thing is this big it was around six quid and an old bit of foam <laughs>